Good morning and welcome to Breakfast with Belvis. We are breaking our fast this morning and filling our spirit with God's holy word. And today's scripture is found in um, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, starting at verse 8. And it reads, concerning this, I pleaded with the Lord three times to take it away from me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for power is perfected in weakness. Therefore, I will boast, I will gladly boast all the more about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may reside in me. So I take pleasure in weaknesses, insults, catastrophes, persecutions, and in pressures because of Christ. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Okay, so I just want to ask you, have you ever experienced weakness? There are many different forms of weaknesses. And, and I, uh, in the last few months, have experienced weakness that I never thought um, I would be experiencing at this age in my life. Uh, and that is a physical weakness um, where my muscles uh, have have um been uh, affected by the disease that I have and it caused it really hard to move and I'm still um, struggling with some of that um, and it, it you it caused me to not have uh, be able to do things on my own I had to have people to step in and assist me with just just the regular daily activities of living. And so um, it has been a struggle for me. Uh, and, and I understand weakness to be, uh, I understand weakness in a whole different way, in a whole different light now, uh, because you be, you do, you become dependent upon people. And here in the scripture, Paul said he had a thorn in his flesh and um, but he said that he will gladly boast about his weakness, um, and he will take pleasure in his weakness. Why? Because it goes on to say in the scripture, he says, um, let me go back. Therefore, I, I will most gladly boast all the more about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may reside in me, just like I had to like just be totally dependent upon uh, my husband and my my son to care for me. Uh, things that I just couldn't even do by myself. I didn't have the mobility to 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 do it on my own. I had to to just be totally dependent. Same thing here. Paul is saying, so that Christ's power may reside in me, that I can rest, I can be dependent upon the power of God resting and ruling and moving and inside of me to do the things that I need to do. And so Paul said, I will gladly, gladly boast about my weakness because then it's not looking at me but it's looking at the power of God who lives inside of me and then he goes on to say that uh, that he'll take pleasure in his weaknesses in his insults in catastrophes in persecutions and pressures um why because of Christ why because the power is within the power is even in our weaknesses, some of us are trying to push our weaknesses away. We're trying to push away the pain. And as God is trying to grow us, because there is there is purpose in, in, in this pain. There is purpose in the weaknesses that we experience in our life because he wants to stretch us. He wants to grow us and he wants us to, to have a better, deeper relation, connected relationship with him so that our dependency is on him, not on our jobs, not on our family, not on ourselves, not on our abilities, our intelligence, none of those things. But he wants us to rest in him so that he can take us from our pain to the next uh, place he has for us in our daily walk, in our journey here uh, uh, um, on earth so that we can advance his kingdom here on earth. So 
um, I just want to encourage you this morning that uh, we get to lean on Christ all the more for our strengths because why um, our, uh, our strength is made perfect in our weaknesses. Let me say that again, because our strength is made perfect in our weaknesses. So we have broken our fast this morning. I hope you've been encouraged by the word to not push away your pain, but it, it, invite it, accept it, and walk through it with Christ. So we have broken our fast, filled our spirit with God's holy word, and we are ready to go forward today in Jesus name. So uh, I encourage you to love like God loves you. And remember, you are special. I don't care what weakness, what pain, whatever you may be going through or have been through. You are special. All right. So I love you and have a blessed day and I'll see you on the next episode.